For me, motorcycling is a very liberating, a uh, very mind freeing deal. Let's me forget about all the daily nightmares of the daily grind and all that kind of stuff. Clears my head. And especially if, if I'm riding with friends, it really makes me happy. Brings a lot of happiness to me. And uh, just the American dream, you know. I'm, I'm kind of like an old romantic, I guess, when it comes to America and the American dream and riding motorcycles. So for me, it's just a beautiful experience. You can't beat or match no matter what. Well, 
it's just we're really into hand-me-down parts and stuff that are uh, you know from old motors like Cuddy's. Most of the things he built have been you know remakes or tributes to old bikes you know from the 60s and 70s his dad had. He used a lot of old parts that were actually used when they were new in the 70s. And I mean there's some meaning behind that and it, and you can tell when you look at a new bike and an old bike there's a difference and then there's a difference between an old uh, a new bike that's supposed to look like an old bike but with me like on something like this we're going to use a new you know engine and all that but if i use old parts on it there's some history there and to me the motor is like putting a small block in a 49 merc or something the only difference is you see it, you know, but with that, it's, that's to get me where I need to go. But everything else has some history behind it and a story behind it. And it might not just be my story, but hey, I might be riding this thing somewhere and the guy comes up and goes, holy shit, that's my seat from my Triumph or my knucklehead or whatever I had in the 60s. And you never know. You know, and that's yeah. what's bitching about having this old stuff, the old cars, the old bikes. People look at it, whether they had it then, they tell you they did. And there's always a story behind it. And no matter where you go, somebody's talking to you and go, I had something just like that. It's like the seat, the guy who was laying underneath a box. He goes, I got all these parts, come take them. And then he pulls this seat and it like, there was like a, a glow over it when I seen it. And I, He's like, oh yeah, here's this seat, and like was gonna throw it in the trash practically. And I go, oh yeah, I didn't want to get excited. I'm like, that's that's cool. Can I have that? And he's like, oh yeah, you know, this is junk to me. And I go, okay. And then I run, like, get in my truck, and I'm driving, and I'm driving one hand with the seat in the other. And go, I just scored. This is the best day of my life. I just found the best seat, and this guy doesn't even realize. He doesn't care. He's got something, you know, that I would like. Yeah, to, yeah, to you know? him it was trash. To me, it was beautiful.